food enough for 9 billion people. That's how many mouths the world will have to feed by 2050. Is this possible? Yes, but only if a five-step plan is followed. Researchers at the University of Minnesota have been doing the sums, and the calculations begin with agriculture. Step one is to avoid deforestation. According to scientists, trading tropical forest for farmland is not the way to go. In fact, this practice has not benefited the 850 million people in the world who are hungry. Step two is to grow more on the farms we have, especially in Africa. Yields must be increased on less productive farmlands. High-tech and organic farming approaches can boost yields several times over. Thirdly, water should be used more efficiently. It is possible to reduce demand for water by up to 15% without compromising food production. This has been done through advances in both conventional and organic farming. The fourth step is to feed people, not animals. Only 55% of the world's crop feed people directly. The rest are fed to livestock or turned into biofuels and industrial products. Of all the options for boosting food availability, tackling waste is one of the most effective. This is also the fifth step. Waste occurs in homes, restaurants or supermarkets and is often lost between the farmer and the market due to unreliable storage and transportation. Putting the five steps into action is a lot easier on paper. But if this is achieved, one can double the world's food supplies by 2050. Shanae Hale, Johannesburg. You deserve to know more. ENCA.com